Hi, this is Quad, and in this video, I want to tell you about innate immunity. Uh, innate immunity is an older form of uh, defense against pathogen and damage of your own things, and they kick in fast. Uh, not too specific. Specific enough to know that there's bacteria, fungus, RNA, virus, etc., but not too specific. Um, they also activate the adaptive immunity. And finally, they're the default defense against the damage and pathogen. It has a few components. First component, wall. Anything between the outside world and inside of your own body, that's innate immunity. Usually this outermost layer is made with epithelial cells. And once in a while, you also f find special cells, like goblet cells, that can secrete mucus to keep this outermost membrane uh, antimicrobial. And those cells are mucosal cells. So here's one. And number two, proteins. Innate immunity has cells that secrete special proteins, uh, complementary proteins and things that just float around and can bind to pathogens, damage particles, and trigger more innate immunity response or the adaptive immunity. Number three, uh, EDAS. Innate immunity has special cells like macrophages that can engulf a problem if it sees one and these uh, eating cells have special set of uh, receptors together uh, I call those receptors the innate immunity receptors and they include things like toll-like receptors, node-like receptors, retinoic acid, something, something, receptors, etc. These receptors can uh, detect pathogen molecules and also uh, damages of your own cells. And their names for these special molecules that innate immunity receptors can detect. They're called uh, PAMPs and DAMPs, pathogen associated molecular patterns, damage associated molecular patterns. So these receptors can detect damps or PAMPs and then detection of this lead to engulfing of these molecular patterns internally. And what happens with this engulfed particle? It depends because now you have to have a communication with the adaptive immune system to decide what you do next. Most often, uh, whatever's inside here will be destroyed and a piece of it will be presented to the adaptive immunity to uh, think about potential adaptive immunity response against the source of the problem. So in summary, innate immunity, older, fast, not too specific, and will activate adaptive immunity. It's your default defense, like the wall between outside world and an inside world. You have special cells that do a good wall job. And then you have the proteins that will uh, go through your body and potentially bind with the problematic pieces and trigger response. And finally, you got the eaters, like macrophages, dendritic cells as well, that have special innate immunity receptors, like toll like receptors and other ones that can bind to pathogen molecular patterns or damage molecular patterns, leading to engulfing and most innate immunity cells like a macrophage, dendritic cells can talk to the adaptive immunity cells 
by showing the piece that these innate cells engulfed or uh, secrete molecules, chemokines, cytokines, that can stimulate the adaptive immunity cells.